Ah, uh, but will more profits come back to Coca-Cola and many other companies that advertise in the Super Bowl? We'll debate the value of such an expensive spot and show you how they're creating buzz in a whole new way. You're watching Closing Bell on CNBC. First in business worldwide. Daddy, I'm the man. And if you need it, Super Bowl commercials are fun to watch, stay. but they don't always pay off, you know. We'll show you how the internet is now giving companies extra ad incentive for the big game. The big game is just two days away, but will Super Bowl advertisers see a big payoff? Sports business reporter Darren Rovell covering the story in Miami tonight. That's right, Maria. $2.6 million for a 30-second ad. Can companies make their money back? I'll have that story coming up next. Well, it is nearly 48 hours away, but that's not stopping revelers from gearing up for Sunday's big game. More than 90 million viewers are expected to watch the Super Bowl, and the outcome of the game isn't the only reason they're watching. The Super Bowl is the single biggest U.S. sporting event of the any year, and this year will be no different. For more on how advertisers plan to add up all those commercial dollars, here's CNBC Sports Business reporter Darren Rovell. He's outside Dolphin Stadium, the site of Super Bowl 41. Darren. Thanks, Maria. You know, it might be the water cooler talk on Monday, but at $2.6 million, you kind of have to wonder, can companies get their return on investment? This bud might be for you, but is bud really right for the Super Bowl? The Clydesdales, the secret fridge, the frogs, and who can forget the lizards? Over the past 20 years, Anheuser-Busch has spent an estimated $250 million on Super Bowl ads, even locking up alcohol exclusivity through the 2011 Super Bowl television broadcasts. But rave commercial reviews haven't done anything to stem declines in Bud's market share. And a recent study by the University of Colorado's Leeds School of Business reveals that perennial Super Bowl advertisers don't see an impact on their stock prices because of the ad buys. Super Bowl commercials, for the most part, are God's way of telling your shareholders that you have too much money. They simply don't pan out for anybody except maybe startup companies that really need to make a big announcement. But new media might help rationalize the costs of doing business during the Super Bowl. Many uh, Super Bowl ads now um, actually get higher viewership online than to do during uh, Super Bowl Sunday. Uh, we've seen last year ads uh, that ran on Super Bowl, uh, as they continue to run all around the year, uh, drive additional traffic to that company's website. And it's quantifiable. Nielsen reporting that on the day after the big game, Super Bowl advertisers saw traffic on their websites rise by an average of 55%. This year also giving rise to the consumer created ad. A host of advertisers including Doritos and the NFL giving fans the chance to make and air their winning Super Bowl ad. In the end, cutting the creative costs and drumming up attention. It's just not buying a commercial. It's packaging the whole thing with PR, maybe doing a contest around it, uh, making sure that you get a lot of pre-bowl publicity, post-bowl, get on YouTube. Coca-Cola returns to this year's Super Bowl after an eight-year absence. We really feel this is the right time. We've got the right advertising. It's the right time, it's the right year, it's the right moment. The beverage giant should be very familiar with what works and what doesn't. 27 years after it appeared, Coke's ad with Mean Joe Green is still widely considered the best Super Bowl commercial of all time. But Coke marketers later determined it wasn't helping to sell sodas. Now, Maria, we talked about that pre-Super Bowl blitz and, and, and you getting that publicity. Turns out Nationwide is a big beneficiary of that. People are already talking about their ad coming up with Kevin Federline. <laughs> K-Fed, back to you, Maria. Yeah, I saw that. I saw a snippet of that ad. This is going to be a fun Super Bowl. Darren, thanks so much.